Why secrets? Why have secrets? You know, everything's on the internet today. Everything about masonry is exposed. Really? Do you know that? <laughs> oh, the internet has changed a lot of things. And the world has changed in a lot of ways. Since masonry began as we know it as a secret society. The, um, it's a question, I guess, that anyone who's not a Mason wants to have an answer to, and that is, why can't you tell me? <laughs> we already know, don't we? Uh, not an easy answer. So I'm going to answer it in many different ways. Not trying to be confusing, trying to be clarifying. Uh, the first um, first thing, no one, no, it's not all online. I've looked since joining Masonry at the online everythings about Masonry Exposed, and it's, um, there's a lot that's there that's accurate, but there's a lot that's not. And Masonry changes in many ways between lodges in regional areas, countries. There's differences that you wouldn't know unless you were in. Um, what works on the, uh, for example, in America may not, you know, the passwords might be different in, in England. They might have different ritual. And even if the correct ritual from one place is described online, they might fail to uh, specify, oh, you want to make sure only to do this in this part of Europe because if you do it over here, it's going to be wrong. And these are things, subtleties, that I don't think you can you can get from the online stuff. And a lot of the online stuff, frankly, is wrong. You know how many times I've seen people say, I know what the lost word is. No, you don't. I, actually, I don't think I've ever seen anyone get that one right. Um... But the knowing the secrets is not the important thing anyway. Those are there to help encourage you to get there within yourself. If you know them ahead of time, you're cheating yourself. It's like knowing spoilers for a movie. It's just not the right mentality. Um, it's like when, speaking of movies, when Hollywood stars are, sometimes celebrities are ceremoniously awarded a 33rd degree, but they don't even know what it means. They don't appreciate it. Um... Uh, I think, uh, well, they, uh, oh sure, they have the degree officially. They can go to a ceremony and everyone will, you know, bow to them, hoping they'll make a big donation. But they cheat themselves out of going through the degrees. I think I wouldn't want to be awarded the 33rd out of nowhere. I wanted to go through the degrees. In fact, I wanted to take more time going through them than I did. I was kind of not pressured to advance through them, but made clear that, you know, what are you waiting for? I'm like, oh, I thought I had to take more time and be more respectful, do more, you know, uh, be more studious and, you know, learn the memorize the rituals more. And <laughs> no, 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 you can you can go on up to the next degree. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I was enjoying it. I was taking my time to smell the roses, so to speak. Uh, making sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I was soaking everything in. I wasn't just given the books, I was reading them. Uh, you know, Hollywood, my comparison there is if you go and, like, like you see a, you see a movie that you know you, you were glad to see it on the big screen because on the small screen it's not going to be nearly as good. Take Star Wars back in the day. You know, you had to see it on the big screen. Once it hit TV, ah, it, was, it was not the same. Not the same. There's something about going through the, de you know, the degrees are designed to teach, not to teach you, but to help you. And 
why would you want to skip that if they're helpful? Uh, what, you think you don't need the help? Well, big-headed Hollywood celebrities, eh. I'm not going to you know, play in a role-playing game. You start a character at 20th level or something. Well, you're a bad, powerful character, but you didn't have the joy of creating the story leading up to that. You don't have anything to take away from the game. You don't have anything to take away from life. You don't have the memory, the spirit that goes with it, the, the advancement of the soul. Why would you want to skip that? I don't get it. Um... Uh, People want to watch the other sports, get their sports statistics rather than watch the game and have the excitement of the actual reason you're involved in it at all, the fun of watching. What's the point in just getting the statistics later on? Check and make sure your team won. Ooh, fulfilling. How tribal, how primitive. My team's tougher than your team. Ooh. Personally, I like to be there and, you know, uh, I know this is, is kind of getting off track, but not really, when you consider a baseball diamond is just a big square and compass. Uh -huh. uh, I don't like watching baseball, but I enjoy playing it. Does that make sense? I mean, am I going to hit that thing? Can I run fast enough? Am I going to get booed off the field? Someone going to throw coke at me? Yeah, I can throw it back. I got a pro wrestler mentality, but... Watching it on TV, you know, it's, there, there's no fulfillment there. I mean, maybe if you're watching with your friends and your buddies and all that, but I don't want to just... The only reason I would ever want to just look at sports statistics in a book is if it's the Gray Sports Almanac and I'm trying to get it back from Biff. That's the only statistics I'm interested in looking at. Other than that, nothing. So... If you just read lore online about masonry, yeah, I think you're cheating yourself. If you want to really understand it, go through the degrees. Do it for real. Don't cheat yourself. Uh, yeah. Now, um, that's, in my opinion, the most important reason that there is the secrecy. But that's actually not really the main reasons by anyone else's standards <laughs> well maybe there are but more practical more um, uh, prudent reasons there's history to consider and then there is a basic element of trust let me cover the trust first because history will take longer as um, I've had it said to me by uh, Master of the Lodge and others, you know, it's just when it gets brought up, and I've asked the question myself uh, about secrecy, they say, well, even if you were to, you know, learn this stuff online, or if even, you know, it's not like it's the great secret of all secrets. What's important about it is trust. If we can't trust you with a few passwords and handshakes, how can we trust you with anything? And that, yeah, that's. <laughs> What more needs to be said? Well, I'll add a lot. He doesn't need to say any more, but I'll add a lot. This, it's, it's the matter of principle. It's a token of trust. It's, it's not a great secret that the world will fall apart for the Masons if it's let out. But it's a token of trust. You're giving your word. No, that's not the lost word, your word. Although that would be poetic. That'd be a good dodge in a riddle somewhere, if I was still designing games. Well, maybe I am. But I've had so many similar incidents with fr so-called friends over the years where I would give them just a little bit of trust just to see if they were worthy of it. And, of course, they failed. And then they made a big stink about it. Like It's like the friend that owes you five... It's like if a friend asks to borrow money. It's a good test if he's really a friend. If it's not going to break you, lend him the money. It'll tell you everything you need to know about him. Like if you're out at the movies and you know your friend, Oh, I just had money for... You, know, you, you say, oh, Hey, okay, we got in. Um, 
uh, I'm going to get some popcorn. And he's like, well, okay, I'll see you in the theater. What, you're not going to get anything? Oh, I only had money for the admission. Maybe he's lying. <laughs> but, yeah, we've all had those friends, right? Deep pockets. But let's say he's just, you know, times are tight. You know, movies are getting expensive and lower in quality, so can't blame him for not wanting to shell out the money. So let's just say he's, you know, legitimately, you know, come on, movie popcorn. Let's see, I'll take a bucket of popcorn and a box of red vines and a Sprite. That'll be $58. Fuck you. Uh, okay, but say, okay, uh, you want a popcorn and a, and a drink here? Okay, here's 10, I'll spot you 10 bucks. Uh, and he says he'll pay you back in, you know, payday in two weeks. <laughs> okay. 10 bucks. That's worth it to know if he's worth it, you know? What's the best way? If you never want to see someone again, lend them money. You'll never see them again. If it's a small amount, it's a small price to pay, literally. So say this guy, two weeks later, comes back. You know, you're like, uh, you're meeting together at class or your game group or something. Hey, man, uh, I don't mean to be rude, but got my ten bucks. Or maybe you wait till the end of the day. He shows up for your usual thing, game night or whatever. You don't say anything all night. At the end of the night, everyone's heading to their cars. Uh, man, I didn't want to bring it up, but you got my 10 bucks, you know, sorry. And he's, oh, shit, I forgot. I'll get you next week. Okay, now you know. If he doesn't bring it next week, you, you know. You probably know already, but you see where I'm getting with this. The Masons give you some secrets that you are not, you give your word that you're not going to divulge. If you can't keep simple secrets like that, it's the same thing as like, we can't, you can't even pay me back the 10 bucks. When the person, your so-called friend, dodges paying you 10 bucks, well, your friendship's not worth even $10, is it? The $10 is worth more to him than your friendship. And I've had plenty of friends treat me that way. It's actually been for five bucks sometimes, but the Masons trust you with their secrets. That's it. I like it. Okay, but um, more practical and historical reasons for secrecy. Actually, it's not even fair to call it secrecy anymore because they don't even treat it secret. Like uh, you can Google Earth where your lodges are in your neighborhood. They're they're not hidden. Uh, they're private. You have to be a mem. It's a you know it's members only. It's private. It's secluded. It's not secret. Secret, they haven't really had to have been secret for the last oh, 100, 150 years. As you get further back in history and people get more primitive and superstitious, burn them at the stake, then there's more practical reason for secrecy. Some of the rituals in Lodge, I will say, without getting specific, obviously, are just, you know, go back to medieval times, security things and such. It's, it's, uh, so there used to be a more practical need for secrecy, and um, even in more recent times, in the 19th century, I think, there was an anti-Masonic political party in America. <laughs> um, but I think since the 20th century, um, I mean, you're dealing with things like the Ku Klux Klan and you know, everything else going nuts so it, no one really cared too much about masonry anymore and it's not a big not a big concern uh, these aren't really threatening guys these guys in their aprons laying the cornerstones of our buildings and you know showing up to save our asses in war not really a problem um, and so secrecy just became formality and became privacy that's all and now it's a token of trust but I will say that there are secrets still. Actually, quite a lot of them. Not too earth-shattering, but they're important in it, to me in that I can put them in a larger context of conspiracy, history, and occult lore. And I can see a broader canvas with it. Um, it's ironic that Masons have to knock on the door themselves they have by their own free will have to approach a lodge that in itself says that information is not a, a, an entitlement you're not uh, 
going to be spoon-fed things in life. You have to seek them out. But once you're in masonry, that you've learned all the degrees, you've gone through the rituals, you've put the time in, you've learned you know, your lessons, you've read your books, you've studied your ciphers, you've done all this stuff. You, you can become, I would imagine, I've not been in masonry long enough to speak with life experience, you know, but... Um, I don't know, I imagine there's a, a, a bit of complacency where it's like, well, I know the rituals, but do you keep digging into them? This actually, Masons discuss this. So I, we ha I have a um, class once a month where we discuss things like this, where it's like, uh, you know, what, is this, what does this mean? Do you have to keep finding meaning in it? Don't become stagnated. I, you know, don't become static, which is ironic given the metaphoric, uh, the Nate, uh, metaf stone being the you know big metaphor of masons, obviously the name masonry, but um, uh, you can just end with ritual, but you like to I, I like to keep going and asking the questions, and if you do that, if you keep delving into the lore, you keep I keep going to the library and digging into things separating the conspiracy i have to keep going into conspiracy lore as well because there's a lot of stuff being discovered that's not in the masonry books youtube every day there's some paranormal thing oh you know, look at gobleki tepe you know for example just ancient archaeology how does this play into the ancients and all this i'm indiana jones in his office putting it all together and for me there are secrets in masonry that even masons don't know is there because they stop asking questions no disrespect to the brothers that's their journey. They're content where they are. I'm not. My soul is restless. I will keep learning, and I, I have an endless appetite for it. Uh, and, and there are secrets that are kept secret just because people don't know they're there, which I think is fascinating. Uh, also frustrating, fascinating and frustrating, because I don't get to share them with anybody. <laughs> I just find them for myself. Um, can't tell them here, and not not the opportunities that I want yet to tell them elsewhere. But meaning to the brothers, the so why have secrets? It's complex, isn't it? But the secret, to, to wrap it up, to summarize, the secrets that are deliberately kept, the handshakes, the passwords, and things like that, those are an act of trust. Plain and simple. The online stuff, it's not as complete or as accurate as people think, although you can get a gist for things, I would imagine. But some things are held back I think deliberately to sabotage the online community. It's like, I wonder how many of these Freemasons that supposedly expose things actually get it all correct. I mean, even myself, I'm not, I'm not interested in exposing anything, but just talking about, like in my movie commentaries, I really erred on the side of caution. Just, eh. I gotta wonder, even these guys coming out and putting crap online, which they should not be doing, frankly. Uh, when I read through it, I see things that are grossly inaccurate, and I'm like, what? Did they do that on purpose to, like, throw people off? Uh, don't trust what's online in terms of masonry, unless you have a perspective from the inside to so separate the wheat from the chaff. Um, and finally, there are secrets that are secret because even masons don't know they're there. The quest goes on, it goes deeper and deeper. Um, or I should say higher and higher, because I use my mountain metaphor. So there's not any one secrets that are being kept. You know, there's not one great secret, there's not one great uh, conspiracy. It's, it's a lot of, diff like life, a lot of differing factors that to the outside world look like one big conspiracy of secrecy, but it's a bit more complex than that. Um, I hope that clears things up on secrecy and, um, and 
perhaps the word to use is privacy. Right. Anyway, thank you for listening. Have a good one.